In audio, transients are something you need to be aware of because you can control them and it affects your sound. Transients are those initial peaks in a sound. So if, if somebody is playing a cymbal, like a ride cymbal with a stick, that first tick that identifies when it's been hit is your transient. Now there's a lot more information on the web about it. If you just Google transient audio, you will find a lot of uh, information on it. But I'm gonna give you a quick um, overview on what you can do with those. So in a song like this, I'm gonna solo off the uh, acoustic guitar. And I have a transient shaper. I'm using a program called Neutron 2, it's by Isotope. And this transient shaper uh, lets me make those transients at the beginning of the waveform either, either larger or smaller. So watch here. And I can decrease it too. The sustain is the rest of that little wave. So it's identifying a little blob, a little wave, um, a little audio waveform, and I can control the attack of it which is that a transient, I can either make it louder or, or softer and the sustain louder or softer. Watch how that affects the sound. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, why would you use this? Well, a transient, when you're, um, increasing the transients at the attack of the transients uh, in a guitar, it makes it sound like it has more attack. And it sounds, oftentimes it sounds closer to you. If you want to make something sit far, further away, if you reduce that attack on the transient, you can make it sound and, and increase the sustain, it'll sound further away. So for let me give you a quick example. In this, um, uh, this is a tambourine here. Okay. Now I have a, a transient uh, shaper here in the Neutron. I can use this and we can, I'll show you how the difference in how it sounds. I'm gonna increase the volume. So that's with the attack um, greater and then I can pull the sustain down. It sounds, now it really identifies the beat more but it sounds very close. In this case, I want the tambourine to be kind of further away, so I'm gonna do the opposite. And now it sounds further away without having to apply any reverb. It's pretty cool, isn't it? There are lots of Transient Shaper plugins. Uh, the one that's kind of my go-to is either Neutron, the one I just showed you, or this one's a real simple one. It's by Native Instruments. It's called Trans Transient Master. And you've just got a attack and a sustain and a gain. So I'm gonna turn this off and show you how to use that. And then you can make up the gain as well if you want. All right, I hope that helped you. Uh, it's something that you need to be aware of. You're going to hear about transients a lot. This is your quick tip of the week. If you want to learn more about how to music, how to produce your own music, and how to record your songs as a singer-songwriter, let me know. Join our class. We would love to have you. All right. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.